hey Danny, wanna hear a joke? What's that? Everyone knows part of the way toothpaste works is by equalizing the acidic substance in your mouth. Yeah. I mean, it's basic science. <laughs> <laughs> Hello humans, I'm Danny Phantom. And if you're watching this video, that means you're about to witness something spectacular, a scientific breakthrough. As you all know, we are living in some crazy times right now. And with that, a lot of the things that we know and love are now much, much more scarce. There are barely any food, there are barely any toilet paper. What I have in my hand right now is a tube of toothpaste, and this is all I have until the end of the year. So what we are going to do today is we're going to make some homemade toothpaste, and I brought some of the greatest minds alive. We have Dr. Anata Pato, and we have Nat Geo here. The, our toothpaste is going to be an all-green toothpaste, a very nice and uh, eco-friendly homemade mixture. Now, there are many advantages to making our own toothpaste, especially the fact that we'll be using no plastic, so we'll be helping the environment. Also, um, we, can, we get to choose our specific ingredients and our specific texture and flavor for our toothpaste, which will be which is really nice. Also, we get to avoid those artificial sweeteners, those preservatives, which can be help, harmful to the body. Along with the advantages come, you know, cons and disadvantages. And some of these disadvantages are, um, you need to purchase your supplies to get your desired mixture. Some online recipes um, contain harmful chemicals. Um, like hydrogen peroxide vinegar that degrade tooth enamel and cause yet to teeth yellowing, which is basically what you don't want. It can be many tries before you actually get your desired texture and the flavor you want. Um, some homemade toothpaste, do, they do not include fluoride and as we know, fluoride is the most important aspect in toothpaste because it prevents um, tooth decay and pre um, prevention of cavities, so that's very important. Alright guys, now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, we gotta suit up and be protective. So, ready? So now that we're suited up, let me show you what we're gonna be using to make this homemade toothpaste. So what we have... Coconut oil. Pure baking soda. A ginger powder. It's ginger but it's found in powder form. We don't have the popular ingredient of xylitol or all, all of that. So we're gonna be using hulls for its minty and kind of slightly sweet flavor. And last but not least, our ingredient X, we don't really know if we'll be using it today or not, is um, activated charcoal. So this is a surprise. The first thing you'll do is you're going to, if your coconut oil is too hard, you're gonna have to melt it. But since we kind of already melted our one, you can skip that step. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna melt the hulls so it's a little more liquidy. So as you can see, we're already boiling. We have a, a glass um, along with uh, a container, a metal container, boiling the, the hulls and it's already melted. And we can show you guys what it's gonna look like. Just added a little bit of water so that it can, it can maintain a liquid state. And you're good to go. It actually smells a lot like mint. Ooh, it's very strong. Let's mix all the ingredients. We need to start by adding one, one. one teaspoon of baking soda. You can do it. <laughs> Danny Phantom, you can do it. Yeah, that's about a teaspoon. And now for every teaspoon, you add four teaspoons of um, coconut oil. Just that. Nice and neat. Now it's um, four teaspoons of coconut oil. One, two and a half, <laughs> that's about three, and this should be four, four teaspoons of that. Um, we gotta mix it in a small container. Now we should um, add approximately half a teaspoon of um, the ginger to give it some flavor. Ginger? Yeah. This enough? Yeah. yeah enough. It's, only, it's only a half a teaspoon. Come on. That's definitely enough now. <laughs> yeah, 
Another thing it says is to add the mint. They never really specified how many mint we should add. So I think that's um, whatever Danny feels like doing. We just put enough to where it doesn't, it's not too liquidy. Right. We use the same. <laughs> <laughs> the best cooking channel on YouTube. <laughs> Just pour one and see what happens. I'll give it that minty flavor. Minty fresh. So yeah, so now we're going to mix all that until it's you know evenly distributed. Yeah, and then it says pour into an empty jar and let it cool. Let's see what's gonna happen. I think it's even. What do you think? It doesn't look like toothpaste though. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like toothpaste at all. Well, the instruction did say it would take time until we get your desired mixture. Well, do you think we need to put more? Baking soda? Whoa. No way. Wait. Oh. Well, I think it's time to improvise, guys. Huh. Okay. I don't know what to say. <laughs> 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 what is that? I feel like if, if we would like put it in the fridge, you think it would like, get a little bit more like kind of get clumpy. Yeah, get clumpy because okay, just put it in the freezer for enough for to see what happens. Why are you stay for like you know, like ten minutes? You want to take it out? Put it yeah. in the fridge. Yeah. Now this thing has smell weird. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be putting it in the fridge, refrigerator. Yeah, to see if it'll get uh, the consistency that we want. Later. Yeah. Oh my god. It's too much Cut. We're gonna do a second batch. We're gonna try to make it a little more the consistent, a little more thick because it's the first batch. It's still cooling, but so far it doesn't look too pleasing to the eyes. So we're gonna try again. Uh, remix the, the recipe a little bit more. We're gonna basically we're gonna imp improvise. So we're gonna take the baking powder, and we're gonna add about the first one was about a tablespoon, a teaspoon. We're gonna add two. We're gonna use a spoon to take out the clumps so that it gets gets more um, more of a powder form because. Okay, now we got a baking powder, we're gonna add some some cooking oil. We're gonna add maybe a half a tablespoon based on the, the amount we have. And you just keep adding until you get the desired consistency you want. Because the first one, following instructions not really, a, sometimes it's not really a good thing. Okay, it's a little bit more thicker, but we want a little bit more, a little more smooth, so we're gonna keep adding a little bit more. A little bit. Okay, this is actually starting to look more like toothpaste, so... Now we're gonna add some ginger. And actually we're gonna use maybe a little pinch of this. Because it's actually gonna change the color if we add too much. And we're gonna add... In the, we're gonna add some... Some of our melted hulls for the, the flavor. It's a pinch. Actually, it does look like it. For this mixture, we're gonna add something. We're gonna be a little more creative and actually add some activated charcoal that we already started to, to pound. So we're gonna add a little bit more. So activated charcoal because it actually it helps with cleaning the teeth. There's actually a Colgate brand of, of activated charcoal toothpaste. Add a pinch. Let's go. Actually, this this batch looks more like the like actual toothpaste. It has the consistency and well, not the color because of the activated charcoal, but we have our toothpaste. Compared to the first to the first batch. Take the take the batch out. This one actually had too much cooking oil and because of the oil, all the bigger particles actually settled to the bottom and the oil stayed at the top. 
but because we did a second batch using less oil, the baking powder actually absorbed some of the oil and made it more of a, a paste, which is actually one because it's toothpaste. Now, the only steps that we have left is to try and use this toothpaste. So, that's why we brought our own you know, toothbrushes to test our, our final product to see if it actually works or not. Yeah, I'm actually scared of using this. <laughs> <laughs> now we're actually gonna, we're gonna use our, our test dummy. Patrick's gonna try it first, then we're gonna try it after. Oh God. Are you ready? Guys, can someone please call that on one? This doesn't work. Need some water. You see another photo after this, so you know he's alive. Thank you very much. Now let's try this out. Can I put it out now? Mm-hmm. Okay, watch one. I think we are. <laughs> so guys... Conclusion. My conclusions are, first of all, the taste isn't that great. I'm sorry to say, but it tastes a little bit oily and salty. But it actually works. You can feel that like your teeth is cleaner. Um, there's no worrying about any of the ingredients if you're allergic to it or if there are any side effects because you made it, so obviously it should be it should be good. But I can say that if you're in dire need, dire need, and you really need some toothpaste and you have no access to any, then this should be an option. The flavor is not too great, um, but you can taste the ginger, and ginger is actually a really good thing. It's an anti-inflammatory and it helps um, strengthen your gums. So. Um, Actually, I'm not really too sure about that. Well, don't, don't quote me. Yeah, don't quote me. Don't quote me. I'm not sure about that. I'm just speaking from experience and, you know. But altogether, my teeth does feel cleaner and it's, it's just an alternative. It's not a long, long life alternative, long term alternative to actual toothpaste. Because like I said before, it does not contain fluoride, which is essential to prevent tooth decay. But in all, it's actually a, a a fun home activity that you can try and um, my teeth does feel cleaner. This toothpaste is pretty salty. Maybe we put a little bit too much uh, baking soda, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad when brushing. The only thing is we did not have all the ingredients that we wanted to make this, so we had to do, we had to kind of uh, adapt to the situation. So for what we did with what we have, I think it's a really good toothpaste. My teeth do feel a little cleaner. <laughs> I think. <laughs> like compared to the compared to the other toothpaste, I feel like it's comparable. The ginger kinda gives it a burning. Like a burning, like a good burn. <laughs> I mean times like this we're at home stuff at home during quarantine. It's a nice it's a nice activity to little children. You as a stay-at-home mom or dad can just you know, you and your children just stay home and you can do this science activity. It's, it's really good. It's nice for bonding. Alright, so guys, that's the end of this little science experiment. Although we didn't have all the things we needed to make it, I felt like it was pretty good. It was a successful day. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a success. If you do plan to try this out, you know, let us know in the comments how that went. And if you add any other ingredients, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully yours turns out better than ours. Yeah, it'll hopefully last us until we can go home. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so like it if you like it. Subscribe if you don't like it. And share even if you don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> subscribe if it tastes bad. <laughs> and rewatch it again in case we miss a couple steps. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's it. See you in the next video.